Hello all and welcome to another episode of Trade of the Week. As you can see here, we've got GJ from two weeks ago. But why I've got this up is leading into our Trade of the Week. As you can see, we had the whole market structure coming back down into our 154265 level. And you see the TP got smashed through. And you can see I've got this 30 minute candle here. Okay, 30 minute candle. Again, the reasons why we sell to certain areas is to potentially get ready for a new buy. So when we sold here two weeks ago, I had this intention of actually buying down here to potentially make a new leg high. So as you can see from this print screen, in, in and around that 154390 level is what I actually bought. But I just wanted to see the bullish price action before we had a confirmation for a breakout. Literally, I hit buy on it. I went to get a haircut. I looked at my phone an hour later, and this is the candle that we actually saw. So I was quite surprised when I looked at my phone, but I was definitely not complaining about that. So as you can see from this print screen, we had intentions to actually buy from this area and then kind of take it back up into our 155600 or potentially 156200 level. So as things stand, we're looking very interesting in and around the area. We kind of flowed back down during Friday's session before we had uh, the end of the week, but we'll break that down in due time. So for me personally, that was the trade of the week when we called GJ because of how it actually kind of went down into the area exactly how we planned. So beautiful trade to actually get the next leg down. You can see we tapped into this IPA area right here. So got a second sell in the IPA area to take it back down into 154. And then from there, we got this big bullish price action to the upside. So that was my personal trade of the week. But as you all know, me and Gold were married. So we look at this print screen here. Again, print screen on the 7th of June. Okay, at what time? Okay, eight o'clock in the morning. Okay, so we, we had this in here. We all know gold is really bullish right now. And I've been telling you I want all time highs at 2100, potentially 2200. So any opportunity I do get to buy right now, obviously within market structure, I take that chance. So we had this print printed out. Okay, we looked at 1871. And then within 1871, you can see what happened in here. Tap. And then we start heading off. Okay, so when did I print screen? So this actually happened on um, the 11th. Okay, so you can see the patience you have to have for these. Sometimes you, have, you might have to wait two to three days, sometimes four days for a trade, sometimes even a week or two. Okay, <laughs> if you trade Euro CAD, you probably know what I'm talking about. It takes forever to actually play out. So within this, we had this time frame to actually come up into here. We had TP1 smashed and TP2 was at 1930. You can see we've got IPA over there as well. So we're still waiting for that to currently happen. Okay, so as things stand, this is what we look at. Okay, when it came back down into this area, already created a target, got a target here, and then we've got that liquidity wipe. So you can see why I'm targeting 19, 12, 400 again, psychological numbers. So it makes sense for it to come back into here in and around this area and then start going up again. So when the market closed on Friday, this is where gold currently is. As you can see where I had the arrow before and what I was targeting. So we've kind of closed in this area. Um, I took a small little buy in here before the market closed. Again, probably not the times I like to be trading or should be trading, but I saw the opportunity and I took it. So when the market does open and well, at the time of this recording in about hour, 40 minutes, we'll see how that actually plays out. I won't be surprised if it kind of makes one more low to sweep these lows in here sweep the last week's price action before actually heading up, taking out these liquidity areas at 1904 and above. So we'll see how that plays out during, well, as soon as the market opens, I guess for, for gold, it's actually got two hours, 40 minutes because it opens hour later than the Forex market, right? So we'll be seeing how this plays out in due time. One thing I did want to show you guys, okay, let me just actually open my actual Discord because I think many of you don't, you always, I always get a lot of questions and things like that on Instagram saying, oh, what does a Discord look like? What does it actually entail? And what kind of value can I get from it? So it might be best if I actually just show you. So this is the chart markup section. Okay, we've got various sections here, recordings, because we do this two sessions a week. Okay, so let's just scroll up. And I'll show you that same day because that GJ trade and that gold trade actually played out on the same day. Okay, so you can see why the group was very excited. But Let's just come into here. So again, yep, we had that, we had to move down. It was getting ready for the buy in GJ, as you can see here. And then, yeah, you can see people asking questions and I just answer. Okay, so in here, we had that EU set up as well. People were waiting for that. So EU, again, another trade that I didn't actually show you, but was quite good. We had a nice play in there and dropped down. 
they had a picture perfect entry as I've marked up here, but we adapted as you should always do. And then actually made that sell down to those areas. Okay, so you can see here, okay, what did I type? Gold approaching 1871, POI. Okay, so again, oh, I thought Discord does show the times that actually posted this, but apparently not. But anyway, put gold approaching 1871. So you can see everyone started getting excited and then uh, literally went to the barbers, <laughs> came out, looked at my phone, and you can see people's reactions here. People getting happy. Gold, yep. And I said GJ too. Okay, I had that GJ buy in there. Okay, so you can see these are the kind of things that's actually happening in the Discord and I'm sending chart markups all the time. So yeah, and then again, sending case studies so people can actually break it down, understanding what's happening, how to actually break it down and get these ridiculous risk to reward ratios. So you can, you can see all of this in here. Okay, so for you guys that are always asking what you might get in the Discord or what you might get with mentorship or whatever it is that you're looking at, then this is just a, a taster of what happens in here. So yeah, that's that's it for this week. Okay, we had a we had a very great week in regards to GJ Gold and everything else playing out. So until next time, I hope you do have a profitable week. You do have a successful one. Keep working towards those goals, keep studying, and you will keep getting closer to those goals. So until next time, take care, have a blessed week.